Ripple receives the endorsement from the Royal Bank of Canada. Ripple has always been identified more as a payment solution than as a cryptocurrency itself, and this is for sure one of the more widespread perceptions in the crypto world. As a matter of fact, the conception is not that far from reality considering the incredible efforts the company has made to fight in the remittance payment sector, an environment in which Ripple has managed to create the most solid relationships with many financial institutions from all around the world. This time, the endorsement comes from nothing else than the RBC, Royal Bank of Canada, one of the most reputed financial institutions in the world. The RBC gave a recent declaration in which speaks about the payment solutions Ripple has, and how do they think Ripple provides an outstanding service that may help the entire sector to reduce the costs and increase the effectiveness of cross-border payments as we know right now. Let's discover all of the facts behind the declarations of the RBC. Reducing costs, the primary attribute of Ripple Solutions The RBC recently declared that the remittance market has been ruled so far by traditional remittance firms such as Western Union, and bank entities from all around the world. However, they said as well that it was remarkable how these solutions still have a lot of friction regarding transparency, costs, and effectiveness, and for them, that's precisely where Ripple enters the picture to serve as a crucial piece of the puzzle. It is to be acknowledged that the blockchain has brought new variables to the table that somehow are just new in the financial industry. We can talk like this about decentralization, incredibly high transparency in transactions processes, and of course, the most remarkable of them all, the elimination of the middleman as an essential part of a payment process. With relation to this, Ripple has gathered all of the attributes that the blockchain offers and have merged it all in each one of the solutions that the company provides. The RBC has stated Ripple offers one of the cheapest solutions when it comes to cross-border payments. The company said Ripple helps to reduce the costs of transactions, and not only that, but Ripple can also improve transparency of forex rates and fees, before the transaction is originated, and can reduce the cost per payment for financial institutions. In the detailed report that RBC published, the company highlights the importance of the open source Ripple has created, a peer-to-peer, peer-to-peer, decentralized protocol that is here to stay. Ripple has joined forces with several bank institutions at the moment, and for that, they are offering X-Rapid, X-Current, and their token XRP. The most important to mention in this sense is that Ripple provides its three solutions and they give you the chance to select the one that suits better in accordance to your needs. For instance, if what you're looking for is to source liquidity, XRapid would be a perfect choice. The company said, banks can consolidate their liquidity into one XRP account instead of holding local currency in accounts around the world and with this, they can minimize the number of intermediaries. How Ripple, XRP, and other cryptos are going to be public debt solution. As a cryptocurrency and a blockchain technology, Ripple, XRP seems to have a distinct cutting edge over other virtual currencies that include Bitcoin, the widely known and leading digital asset. The space of virtual currencies is essentially a wild and fast-paced market that is responsible for over 1,000 different virtual coins that are all competing for market share and trying to become the preferred and relevant digital coin in the future of virtual currency trade. Among the reasons that make Ripple, XRP, stand out from the crypto crowd is its superior design and development that makes it a big winner at the end of the day. Going by the speculations and calculations of crypto enthusiasts, Ripple, XRP, might surpass Ethereum in regards to market capitalization, if it manages to sustain its growth and adoption momentum around the globe. Thanks to Ripple's default currency, XRP, different financial institutions in the world can quickly process transactions regardless of the geographical area difference at inexpensive costs. Why Ripple, XRP? 
as a digital asset might be a big winner. Ripple is the official company name that is responsible for the development and control of XRP virtual currency. Unlike many other digital currencies, Ripple's default currency, XRP, is designed to be distributed by Ripple Labs to market contributors, rather than being mined and created by individuals who are also referred to as miners. Ripple has taken a very dissimilar approach with its default currency in comparison to most cryptocurrencies. For instance, Ripple did not create XRP as a way for individuals to circumvent the financial and banking sector. Instead, XRP has been developed and designed in such a way it integrates with current banking systems with the idea to serve its clients in a fast and inexpensive manner in processing commercial payments and currency exchanges regardless of geographical topography. While the Ripple approach might be heavily criticized by some quarters of cryptocurrency faithfuls, who would like to use virtual currencies as an alternative to fiat and traditional banking systems, it is this very reason that makes XRP stand out and potentially become a big winner in the crypto space. Now with the increasing demand for instant international money transfer services on the rise, Ripple, XRP is continuously proving to the world that all hope is not lost. Money transfer services using the Ripple technology have significantly reduced the transaction cost they used to incur by over 70% in a process that has been simplified to take minutes instead of the traditional days or weeks timeline. Ripple and cryptocurrency as the answer to global debt according to a recent report that was released by International Monetary Fund. The global debt has risen to high levels of more than $170 trillion US dollars opening the door to a potentially catastrophic financial recession if nations fail to repay their debts due to the current hard financial conditions. In April, IMF warned in their semi-annual fiscal report, that the global public debt had ballooned to over 220% of the global gross domestic product. All the reports on the state of global public debt are alarming and shocking at the very least, but thanks to Ripple's XRP and other cryptocurrencies, the world can rest safe knowing there is an answer to the debt problem that might lead to a great recession like the one witnessed in 2007. Due to Ripple's and cryptocurrencies nature of being genuinely peer-to-peer, -peer, decentralized, and not controlled by any central government or body. Cryptocurrencies cannot be artificially inflated or taxed. Given that the value of cryptocurrencies is derived from the participation of its users and the laws of demand and supply, their currency supplies are not intentionally influenced, so errant traditional currency policies can devalue services that are compensated in Ripple. Ripple's XRP might conquer the cryptoverse in the third quarter of the year. As far as I can remember, this year has been a roller coaster for the crypto market. The prices of the major cryptos have been going up and down the entire time, and this is a worrying situation for many of the crypto investors and enthusiasts that don't know exactly what to expect from the many existing tokens regarding price behavior. In this sense, the third quarter of the year may be the perfect occasion for some of the virtual coins to rise to the top and set a new mark in their history, and that is exactly what we know for a fact that it might happen with Ripple, XRP. Stay with me here and let's discover the main reasons behind the asseveration. The XRP struggle this year. Despite the market volatility, the XRP token has been dealing with some other problems that have put some friction to its development. Concerning this, it's imperative to mention the security issues that the company has faced in the last months. Ripple has been under review by the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC). Considering the way the XRP token was set, there were big chances that the token could be labeled as security. Although this has brought a lot of concern for both the community and the company, we need to remember that is not actually a verdict. Instead, 
it can be just a caution in order for the company to change what it needed to be changed, and that's exactly what Ripple has been doing ever since. Let's recall that Ethereum itself was labeled as a security by the SEC at some point and that is not precisely the case right now, so we all can rest calm as Ripple is taking care of the situation. Concerning the decentralization issues that allegedly Ripple has, the chief technology officer of the company, David Schwartz, has declared that the XRP ledger is as decentralized as Bitcoin and Ethereum if not more. In fact, mathematically speaking it was proved that Bitcoin is mainly controlled by Bitmain and the early adopters of Ethereum mine both Ethereum and Bitcoin. So, to say the least, Ethereum is more centralized than XRP is. The PAL system that runs on both the Ethereum and Bitcoin platforms was exalted despite the technical failures described by the CTO, and the truth is that miners can control the system. On the other hand, the speedy network of Ripple is considered by Vice Ratings as the fastest digital asset to transfer funds between exchanges, and if we consider the low price of the crypto, this would be a tremendous opportunity to reach XRP. So it is true. Ripple was warned that their coin was set as a security, but with all of the efforts that the company has put to change this, may have given results already. September could be the month of XRP. It results evident that Ripple was quiet for a lot of time, but as the CEO himself, Brad Garlinghouse has stated, a lot of things will happen in September for Ripple. In his words, one of the things I will tease for a future announcement within the Q3 market report, which we always share where we see institutional participation in buying XRP, Q3 will definitely be a record of institutional participation in buying and showing interest in holding XRP. As it seems, we can all expect a significant wave of institutional investors appearing in the third quarter. In fact, the last thing we knew about a massive adoption of the XRP token was when Garland House said that he wouldn't say anything further until Ripple World managed to make more than 200 partnerships and we can be sure that this is precisely the time. XRP has now more than 200 connections, but they cannot reveal their names because of non-disclosure agreements. In addition to this, it was known that the XRP token had increased its volume in a significant manner. However, this hasn't been showing up in its price the way it should, and the reason why those who buy the token are not creating an impact in the price is just that, they don't use a regular exchange, so instead, what they use is OTC. This fact may actually change as it is speculated that Binance and XRP are collaborating already, and the crypto will appear listed very soon. Conclusion As August reaches to an end, September might bring great things for XRP in the market. Let's all stay tuned, and Ripley as a company will surprise us all with new development, partnerships, and a brand new behavior of its token, XRP.